Good morning, it's July 5th, 2011. This is Indy 452. And I decided to do a video of the Toro 22035, which is an early model of the 22040, in my opinion. It's a commercial lawnmower, and it has a uh, Suzuki two-cycle TV 5002 commercial engine. Um, this mower has always kind of reminded me of the type of mower that, if I don't know if you've been, uh, if you've ever been involved with military or been around the military, they have mowers or something like that, or, or machinery in the military. It's very well built. It's very tough. Uh, it serves a, a purpose, and that's kind of what this mower is. It's not very pretty, but it, uh, it's very well built, it's very tough, it serves its purpose. So, I always thought that if the military had a 21 inch push mower, they would use something like this. So, that's why I said that. It uh, runs real well, although I don't have a whole lot of gas in the tank, so I hope that when I start it, do the demonstration, uh, that it'll run long enough. I did have to wipe off the the deck because after because this mower basically sits. I don't really use it much, but I had a little gas in there from about half a month ago that I put the engine back on this mower because initially I had a Wisconsin Robin two cycle engine on it for a while, and I was just kind of playing around with that. That was my Franken mower, but. I went ahead and put the original engine back on. I feel better about that. Currently I have the Wisconsin Robin 2 cycle on a 22040, but I may end up putting the Suzuki back on. It's just, it just doesn't feel quite the same. <laughs> Anyways, the 22035s differ from the 22040s and they have a metal gas tank. It has this guard right here. It opens like that. And you know, expose your air filter that way, and it has this metal sheath on it, which is kind of cool. Because um, the newer ones kind of have a primer about right here. Let's see, what else? Oh, it has, this is a very different self propel so Instead of a cable, it's an actual bar. You know, when you go back here to pull that, it pulls on a lever in there. Of course, it has the three-speed tow shift, and I currently have the side chute, which is kind of, you know, kind of a weird addition, but it came with the mower when I bought it, so I just always kind of leave it on there, although I have a mulch plug that I use for it when I do use it. I usually mulch. So let's start this bad boy up. Hope it starts. Good. for me today but it does idle at a very low pace and I do have the governor spring set up as high as I can get it on this as you notice the RPMs are very high and this is a very powerful two cycle engine <laughs> this pretty much goes through about anything but well that's it hope you enjoyed the Moby later days